All right, my. Today we're going to be exploring the world's most aggressive animal. Now you're gonna have to be careful. Do not try this at home, kids. We're gonna have to be very quiet to approach this beast. It can hear you from over three miles away, and if it does, it will attack. You want to get low to the ground because if they see you, they will attack. I'm warning you guys. This could get real graphic, real quick. Oh my gosh, guys, keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet. Solomon, Solomon. Solomon, you're Solomon, I'm trying to, like I said before, this could be real dangerous. These creatures will not hesitate to attack. Oh my gosh, stay low. It sees me. Oh dear, I've been spotted. I've been spotted by the beast. No, please spare me. Please don't attack. All right, so strap yourselves in, put your shrimps on the barbie, because today I'm showing you Rottenest Island. A good way to start off the morning, guys. I'm currently running for something that's probably hopeless. The ferry was at 9.30, it's currently 9.35. I just got here. This bag weighs about 50 pounds. Let's get it. I seriously can't believe we made it. By some miracle, I made the boat, and we are now in Rottenness Island. It took about 25 minutes to get here, and this is the water you're greeted by. This is the bike I've hired. I lucked out so big here, because it's not cheap to get here. It's about 110 Aussie dollars, or as they like to call them, dollar dues. That's the official name of the currency. $80 total US. That gets you a ferry here, a ferry back, and this here bike. Now, I got lucky. It's Tuesday today. Tuesday is like half off, so all this cost me $60 reduce. On a Tuesday. There is the world's most magical animal here. It's like the friendliest animal ever. Basically, it will try to hug you, and you have to keep it away because it's illegal to let it hug you. That's the sound of the police. Guys, it's just a wild peacock just chilling here. Like, I'm biking around and all of a sudden I see this guy. What the heck? I want to see him open up his peacock. I want to see your peacock cock. Your peacock cock. You guys, this is the best day of my entire life. I'm about to show you why. It's a quokka! <laughs> oh my gosh, look, he's running away. He runs like a kangaroo almost, a less capable kangaroo. Oh my gosh. Guys, this quokka was just eating from her. Hello, look! Look at him, look at him. He's gonna see my... Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my... <laughs> I don't got any more for you, man. I was forewarned when I bought my pie in there. They're like, make sure you be careful of the seagulls because they're total assholes here in Australia. You gotta be careful. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. This place is magical, guys. Within five minutes of getting off the ferry, I've seen a peacock, I've seen a quacker. I've also met a very ambitious flock of seagulls. I saw them as a group try to take down a woman who had food. Rockness Island is a little spit of land just about 25-30 minutes off the coast of Perth by ferry but it's actually pretty big by the looks of it like they have a hospital they have all sorts of different infrastructure so it's not just a little tourist island there's obviously people living here I know there's a lot of tours they offer on the island so it's obviously big enough that you could spend a couple days here at least it's a quokka crossing <laughs> oh you gotta be careful when you're riding your bikes Oh, there's about four or five of them just chilling in there. There's this one. There's one over there. Look at this cute little guy over here. They definitely look like they have some relation to like the kangaroo and rodent family. Like they kind of bounce on their back legs a little bit. This is easily one of my favorite animals, guys. This is, this is something special right here. I shall name him Mushmush. Mush. Hello, Mushmush. Mush. Come here. Mushmush, Mush, come back. Mushmush. Mushmush. Mush. All right, well, Mushmush Mush ran away, but this is Solomon. Solomon's way more of a bro. Hey, yo, what's up, cuz? What's up, fam? What's good? Yo, what's good, fam? Wanna hear a riddle? You got this, Travis. Make him wait for it. This 
This one is the most beautiful of all the quackas. Look at him! Oh my gosh! How do you get your coat to be so beautiful? But that's what makes you beautiful. Ho oh, ho! Oh. So I'm thinking if I throw away my camera, I could fit at least two of them. I'm gonna take that one for sure. This water here is just so blue. Like, it's probably the most I can't come all the way to Australia and not go for a swim once, so I'm going in. The water is actually very refreshing. It's not warm, but it's not too cold. Be very careful, guys. Remember, we're in Australia right now, so as long as there's a foot of water, you're definitely in shark territory here. You have to assume everything will and can kill you. happens when I travel alone. I mean, I'm in like the most beautiful place, but I can't take a photo. I don't have a tripod with me. Oh my gosh. It's very hard to be Instagram goals when you travel alone. Are you not entertained? Okay. So right now I'm taking this absolutely beautiful bike trail. I think it goes around the entire island. <laughs> Like, look at the crows here. They have the most piercing white eyes. They just look really mean. All right, one more photo. Come on, Quacker. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is the best photo I've ever gotten. <laughs> so I walked away, and he's coming to visit me. Oh my gosh. You're the coolest quacker ever. You're coming in the carry-on. Who is the most beautiful quacker in the whole quacker land? Guys, he just like stopped moving. I think he fell asleep. His hands are dangling down. I think he's asleep. <laughs> he wants to get so close to the camera. <laughs> I'm surrounded by them. I think they're planning an ambush. I am Christian, king of quacker. Look, he's coming. He's coming to get more pets. All right, this is between us, buddy. Get in the bag. Come on, hop on. Can you boot me in the nose? that's pushing me back. Just beyond this tundra lays amazing waters. I'm gonna fight through the wind to explain what's going on here. So right now we are on the east coast of the island. This actually has a military area station on the island. I just saw a fighter jet go by a second ago. And right over there, I can see a giant metal cog sticking out of the water. Alright guys, so it's a shipwreck. You can actually see this piece sticking out of the water. And it says there's about 12 that have sunk on this island because it's very treacherous for sailing. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we just got back from Rottnest Island. About 30 minutes to get back. It was such a ride because the wind is pretty strong right now. At least it was out in the ocean. And the ship was like, it was like drifting. Like I felt like we were about to tip the entire time. But it made for a good time and we made it back. It's like this is the end of Australia for me. It's been really short. It's been about six days in total. But I gotta say, I have scraped the surface and I want to see so much more of this beautiful place. 
I've had such an amazing experience. Uh, Rottnest Island, amazing. There's sea lions on one side of the island that I didn't even make it to. And now I gotta head back to Vancouver. I'm not gonna vlog it, guys. To be honest, I'll give you a little rundown. It's gonna be horrible. It's 30 hours of continuous layovers and flying and uh, I'll be very exhausted when I get home, I can tell you that. If you made it this far in the video, please leave it a big thumbs up. And as always guys, thank you for your support. Good evening, afternoon, and let's get lost again tomorrow. Fun of the day. Yay!